last week we once again experienced a wonderful day for young high school football talent, National Letter of Intent signing day. Now, I love college football, and I'm sure a lot of you do as well, but I'm starting to love college football more from September through January in the National Championship game because what's going on now with the recruitment and some of the hypocrisy that exists not just with universities and big programs, but with the young men themselves, has got to change. Example, we had more than 70 players from January 1st to the February 3rd signing day flip their commitments. Why? Because, well, they love the attention, and of course, that's cool, because I think all of us love the attention, especially when we were 17 and 18 years of age. However, the fact that verbal commitments that are sometimes given in the junior year of a player uh, mean absolutely nothing has got to change. So here's what I'm proposing. Have a second signing day in the month of August, right before a young man goes into his senior year, and make it binding. When he signs, it's binding. Forget this verbal commitment stuff. Not good. 70 kids flip schools in the month of January. Have a second signing day. It'll leave things on players, programs, and even the young men who then can have their senior year and work on the classroom and football. Got to get it done, NCAA, now. That's why I'm riled up.